Hey there, friends. Welcome to Queer Kid Stuff. I'm Lindsay. And I'm Teddy. Today, we're talking about activism. But Lindsay. Okay yes, Teddy? We already know all about activism. Well, we've definitely talked about activism before, but it's so important that I thought it deserves its very own episode. Oh, I see. Are part of one big family. Queer kid stuff. Teddy, we've already talked so much about activism. Like my favorite book. Oh yeah, A is for activist. We learned the ABCs of activism. And we learned about activism when we talked about the Women's March. And when we talked about pride and the stone wall. Teddy, you're an expert already. I am, I am, I am an activist expert. An active spurt. We'll work on that one. The Women's March and Stonewall are both examples of one kind of activism. Protest. Protest is a really important part of activism, but there are lots and lots of other ways to be an activist. But we're actually getting a little ahead of ourselves. Teddy, since you're such an expert, do you think you can define activism for us? Absolutely. Ahem. <clears throat> you ready, Lindsay? Ready, Teddy. Okay. Okay. An activist is someone who takes action to change something they care about. Exactly right. I couldn't have said it better myself. Activism is also super personal. The ways you want to take action and the things you want to take action for are different for everyone. Hey Teddy, do you like pie? I love apple pie. But what does pie have to do with activism? That is an excellent question, Teddy. Being a good activist is sort of like baking a pie. What? First, we need to make the pie crust, and that takes a couple of ingredients. The first ingredient is privilege. Remember when we talked about privilege, Teddy? Yeah, you and Allie sang a song about the monkey bars. You have such a good memory, Teddy. Exactly, so understanding privilege, that's our first ingredient. If you don't remember what privilege is, you can rewatch our video on privilege or sing along to our privilege song, then come right back here. What's the next ingredient? Our next ingredient is intersectionality. Oh, 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 I remember. It's about all the parts of identity. Exactly. So practicing intersectionality and remembering that all the parts of our identity together have to do with our privilege is the second ingredient. You can rewatch that episode too if you need to jog your memory. Is there another ingredient? The next ingredient is actually a couple ingredients together that we're going to add separately because that's all about being a good ally. And there are three parts to being a good ally. Yep, they're remembering to respect other people, listen to other people, and learn from other people. You can rewatch that one too if you need to. It takes a lot of stuff to make an activist pie, Lindsay. You're so good at it. Well, all it takes is practice, Teddy. So now we have to mix it all together and roll it out into a pretty pie crust, and there you go. But, but, but... What is it, Teddy? It's just a crust. It's not a pie yet. It needs its inside. Well, that's where you come in. I'm the filling? Oh, no, 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 Teddy. <laughs> you. The filling is all about you and your activism. It's about how you want to make change and what you want to change. You can put anything you want in your pie. Like, like... LGBTQ plus stuff? Exactly right, Teddy. LGBTQ plus stuff is definitely in my pie and YouTube videos. That's one way I like to be an activist, through these videos. So I could put protest in my pie. Teddy, you can totally put protest into your activist pie. I also really like chocolate, so I'm gonna stick that in the pie too. Look at that! We've got our very first activist pie, Teddy. Dig in! Yum! Oh, actually, Teddy, there's one last thing we need to remember about our activist pies. Never. I've had a lot of practice making activist pies, but they don't always come out perfect like this. Being an activist is kind of hard, and we don't always get it right, especially when we're first starting. 
but all it takes is a little bit of practice and some recipe tweaking, and you'll be making your very own activist pies very soon. Wow. Well, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching Queer Kids Stuff. We have brand new episodes this season coming every other Wednesday. Don't forget to subscribe, like the Facebook page, and donate to our Patreon page like our pals over there. You can also check out our website, QueerKidsStuff.com. We'll, we'll see you next, see you next time. time. Queer, Queer Kids Kid Stuff. Stuff. Mm, it's good pie.